Traffic Jam is on now. Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson got fired on the same day. I'm sure you heard about that by now, have you? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I think it was historical that these two uh, media news icons, if you will, in their own right, got let go by their uh, their networks, which were two sides of the spectrum. One, I understood more than the other. I will say that I understood the uh, Tucker Carlson uh, being let go more than I did the Don Lemon. I thought that even though I understood it, I just thought it was a little extreme. Um, Tucker, of course, we, we've lived through the enticing of the riots and the, the, the separation and paranoia that was pushed through uh through that network, predominantly through him. Because everything you watched on Fox, you only had about two or three main talking heads that was pushing that agenda. Uh, for the rest of the part, you could almost believe it was real, <laughs> real news. Um, Don Lemon, on the other hand, just didn't understand the, the powerfulness of the climate we live in. We live in a climate now where, you know, things have changed and all these movements are taking place at the same time. Uh, the Black Lives Matter movement, you know, the racial, you know, police brutality movement, you know what I mean? All of that stuff, race, uh, gender population now with the, with the gay community on top of everything. Um, now you got the Jews, Jewish community, you got the Asian community. And I guess he forgot the, the, one of the front runners is the you know feminist uh, movement, and with him saying what he said, and a person holding as much weight as they did, and about to run for presidential office, bad timing. So yeah, heard about both of them, understand one more than the other, but I mean I both understand both of them, but kind of agree with one more than the other. People are noticing the different ways they were let go. Tucker Carlson at Fox News um, and Fox News parted ways while Don Lemon was terminated. Do you see the difference or are people reaching? Um, well, I mean, it, this, a spin is a spin. I don't, I don't think they got let go. The only thing different in the two ways, I will say this, that the two got uh, let go was I thought the respect level was different. When, when you work for any entity, corporation, mom and pop company, whatever, and you have to be let go, or you guys have to go your separate ways. How it's done means a lot. So how it was done was, in, uh, Don Lemon was let go and he felt insulted because in comparison to Tucker Carlson, the head honcho, Rupert Murdoch himself, the top of the cream of the crop, can't get no higher, personally called him with his conversation and his concerns. And that's how they came to the, the conclusion of letting him go. You, you're let go by the top boss. Anybody that think they have a substantial amount of worth uh, in that organization in which they provide work for, you, you you look at that and you recognize that. So even though he's let go at the end of the day, the head honcho spoke to you. So I'm sure it was a lot of more said in there than just that you're fired. I'm sure it was probably a, a plan going forward. Uh, a lot of times companies like in, in the media tell you, you know what, we're going to do this right now. We're going to release this thing this way. We'll give it time and we'll reinvent you and bring you back in a year or two a different way. Uh, as whereas that that Fox, you know, with their respect to talk, Tucker Carson. Now, CNN <clears throat> did it the old gen general generic business way. We, we're going to reach out to your agent and let the agent know your services are no longer required and uh, see you wouldn't want to be you. Now, what conversation and deal gets cut after that i don't know but i can see how in this case the, the artist of media is looking at it like well damn y'all ain't care nothing about me look y'all let me go like somebody work at the soup kitchen like i'm down the block just you know you know cleaning these toilets and everything but i see the disparity in that right not so much the wording because wording again is spent so your company can let you go and it, it's like sometimes a company gives a person an, an option of handing in their resignation. And that's just a thing of respect to say like, okay, fire you, but what we're going to do is like a judge in a courtroom saying with or without prejudice, we're going to fire you, but we're going to let you got to go, but we want to let you go looking like it was on your turn. We'll do you that favor. So that's kind of what part ways make it look like for Tucker. Um, clearly CNN wasn't, 
really concerned with that. But let's keep in mind, again, I know why Don was in trouble before that. You know, he was in trouble before that, and that's why his showtime changed and he got moved around and not too far around the time of Cuomo losing his show. So I understand it. So that kind of leads into the next question, right? So Tucker Carlson's firing seems to be as a result from Fox being sued. That's what some people are saying. Um, Don Lemon seemed to come from his recent militant approach to topics. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I think there were definitely uh, two different things. I mean, there's no such thing as a big coincidence uh, of the timing of Tucker Carlson. Man, he almost gave away a billion dollars. You cost the, you cost these people a billion dollars at the end of the day, because uh, you're like again, like I said before, you're the primary pusher of this uh, false information and, and agenda. So if I'm anybody crossing, the, you know, the T's and dotting the I's, they all gonna come to the same conclusion. Like we just put, played seven hundred eighty-seven million. Seven hundred eighty-seven million is two dollars short of a billion. Uh, you cost us a billion dollars, bro. You got to go. Um, so yeah, that's that totally makes sense of that. And then Don again, not. And, and sometimes we talk. Well, p those of us who we consider ourselves orators, we talk so much. This is what I tell comedians in the game too. You have to listen and pay attention as much as you talk. There has to be some sort of close to even exchange of that for you to be successful at whatever it is you're talking about. Now, in my line of work, I want laughter. So to evoke the laughter, I have to, as I'm talking and putting those things out there, I got to pay attention to the laughter and what they're laughing at, barely, a lot, or, or not at all. You know, I got to pay attention to all those things. That's just a fact of the matter. Um, I've heard people say they would like to see them do a show together, um, Don and and. Tucker, what would you think about that? <laughs> Listen, if, if, if Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson did a show together, it, I think it'll be worse for society than it is with them on two different networks. Um, and the reason why, because we would be literally looking head on at these differences in discussions and these verbal fights and energy, if you will. And then when you when we watch a fight, Think about when you watch a professional fight. When you watch a fight, if you're so invested in one side or the other that people literally have broken into fights in the arenas and audiences. Um, so I think when you put them on the same thing together and doing it, if you're agreeing with this side or I'm agreeing with that side, we kind of get a little too attached to personalize it to ourselves. And we're already complaining about the division in this country right now. And these are these are guys with separate you know, networks and stuff. Like you got to turn the channel actually to see this one, and turn back to hear this one. You put them together. I think that's like, that's like uh, the thriller in Manila every night at nine o'clock. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Um, where can we find you shows or IG? Uh, you can find me on IG. I'm on here all the time. Talent, the comedian, all squished together. Like one word, talent, DA comedian, talent, the comedian, on uh, Instagram, it's just comedy on Twitter, and New York King Talent Harris on Facebook. Catch your boy doing his thing all the time. is the traffic jam.